Hello and welcome to Gaff TV, giving all fans football and today giving all fans Dean Howell. We are here with Crawley Town's left back. We're in beautiful surroundings. He's going to talk to us about life, love and a little bit of minerals. How are you my pet? I'm very well thank you. Good to see you. And you. Thank you for inviting us here. No worries. And we're going to chat a bit about football. Yes. We're going to chat a little bit about life outside of football. But I'm going to start by getting to know you. You're here in Crawley now, but you're not from here, are you? No, I'm from a uh, small town, Burn on Trent. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was uh, obviously brought up there, and uh, I left there when I was 15, 16 to move around and play football. So, so yeah, I've not been back since. I've been Never. Up, I've, been, I've been up and down the country. All over the shop? Uh, yeah, all over the shop, yeah. So, uh, obviously, that's, that comes with football, so. Of course. Obviously, sacrifices, leaving home and stuff, so. So, yeah. Uh, but who did you support growing up then? Villa. That's Villa. Villa? Yeah, Aston Villa as a kid. Tony, Tony, Tony Daly is my uh, favourite player. You've, he's just answered all my questions now. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down, Dean. We're going to take it back. So, is he your idol, or was he your idol when you were a youngin? Uh, because, like, uh, obviously, yeah, obviously, I support Villa and he sort of played the same position as me. Left back. He's like, he's like uh, well, left wing. Left wing, left, wing, left yeah. back, and, full uh, back. Who knows? I sort of, I sort of, uh, I sort of had the same kind of hair as him. Exactly. Plats and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Tribute. Yeah, he was like direct, so I sort of, I sort of mimicked him. So. Oh my yeah. goodness. Him and uh, him and Ryan Keats really were the ones that I uh, sort of grew up to and idolised really. Oh my goodness. Now moving on, of course. How long have you been in Crawley now? This is my, uh, this is my second season. How are you finding Second. it? Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, it's been uh, really good to be fair. It's crazy. I've had uh, probably my two best seasons in my career. Uh, like I say, obviously winning promotion last season and uh, mm -hmm. obviously against the fifth round in the FA Cup, playing against uh, Man U at uh, Old, Old Trafford. So, Seriously, what's that even like though to think about that? Yeah, it was, uh, had to, yeah, it, it was kind of uh, it was kind of crazy. But like I say, we just had uh, we just built such a. Uh, Good, such a good time there and a good spirit and like I say we had a winning mentality there and just, we just, like I say we just, like won, like won the league and got, we got like maximum points there and and the court was just uh, just another part of that. It's quite impressive though. So, so, yeah. <laughs> very very nice. So, so yeah it was, uh, it was a really good experience and like I say I've, it's, it's like I say it's what, it's what kids dream of playing at Old Trafford and even a lot of premiership players don't don't even get to play that, never mind. Tick that box. Never mind, yeah, never mind non league players. So yeah, it was uh, it was really good uh, really good experience and enjoyed it. And you've got more exciting coming up. Let's talk about Sunday. Big, big day coming up for yes, you. Yeah, Stoke City, fifth round again. Uh, amazing that we've uh, achieved that on two consecutive seasons back to back. Uh, so yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. I'd like to say it's great for the club, great for the fans. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I say, I'm going to come against uh, two of my uh, good friends. Because that's a bit awkward, because obviously I'm not a footballer, but I mean, you've got Jermaine, who's a really, really, really good mate. Are you going to be up against him? Do you know? Well, it's, if he's playing, mm -hmm. uh, obviously they've got a game in uh, Europe, I've been told, uh, this uh, week. So like I said, the team, he, he, uh, he may juggle up the team a little bit. Uh, quick though. You, you, you're a bit, you're shaking the hands, because we do shake hands. It's nice to shake hands. And then... You, I mean, do you, are you going to be nice to them? What, what do you do? I don't understand. Well, I mean, like, we've had a little bit of banner and stuff on, on the phone and stuff, but like I say... Has it started off already? Once uh, once match day starts out, I, I won't be speaking to him and I'll shake his hand obviously before the game. Because it's nice to shake hands. Yes, we like to shake hands in football, so don't we? So shake hands, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll obviously play a game and obviously... We'll speak after, have a drink after, I'm sure. And everyone's all friendly off the pitch. It's yeah, yeah, of course, of course, it's, it's all good. But like I say, it's a, it's a bread and butter, it's a job. Uh, and like I say, so want to get to the uh, quarters and, and so do we more so. Exactly, get in there, come on. You can do it, Crawley can do it. <laughs> You've got faith. <laughs> off the pitch, of course, for the past few months, I mean, life has taken a very different turn for you. You're doing something quite different. I want a bit of a background before we go to these beautifully arranged packages in front of us. What made you change your diet so dramatically? Because you did eat a standard, what we call it an SAD diet, standard American diet, but you established British diet, didn't you? That's right, yeah. What was it like? A tip, tell me a typical day before you went all organic. Just basically, uh, just basically the foods that were obviously, that obviously were brought up to eat from my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say un like, uneducated parents yeah. and, and traditions that we, we don't all know kind any better. Of, yeah. yeah, exactly, that we all kind of follow. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's obviously, it's obviously losing, my, uh, losing my nana who I was obviously really close to growing up. She obviously died of uh, breast cancer. 
and uh, that was something that uh, triggered it off. She was like, say she never smoked or drank. Really? Uh, and people always associate cancer and disease with with smoking and drinking, okay. and uh, she never she never touched it. It's like she never did either of the two. So oh. I just looked into it, and uh, I, and then I sort of assessed the foods that she used to eat, and then it's all. I mean, I, I've always been someone to question things, and the food's always been a thing. I mean, like mum, what she said to me, I, like I used to just question, like why do you drink cow's milk and stuff? Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Like like this is from an early age, so I've always had something so kind of in, embedded in me. And, of course, something that yeah, was yeah, to searching question, for. Yeah, yeah, to question things and. The, I've just done so much research, like over 10 years worth of research, I've been to seminars, I've travelled, I've like, obviously travelled the world and spoke to different health gurus and, mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, so you're so not just taking other people's word for it, you, you've tested everything out yourself, found yeah. out what's worked for you in a trial and error and then you've put it out. The yeah, market. yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, for, obviously the research I found is that uh, obviously a lot of meat and animal products are, are, are a no-go for the human body really, mm -hmm. it was basically basically turn turn your body to a uh, an acidic state. Sure. Which is obviously the uh, the bed for uh, most most diseases, if not all. So, so the ideal state is presumably an oxygenated body with a lot of alkaline based foods, is that what you're promoting? That's correct, uh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Because like I say again with the research we've done is basically uh, a lot of it's about pH levels. Uh, f f obviously for a lot of people that don't obviously know that the scale from zero to fourteen, water being seven, neutral in the middle. Uh, and if any and anything created by uh, anything created by nature will be seven and above. Okay. Anything so that's fruit, vegetables, um, water. I don't know what else could there be. That what what do you class as nature's own foods? Just just basically plant plant based uh, plant based products. Plant based products and uh, and like I say, us as human beings, we're organic. They are. And we're all born at a pH of seven point three. Summer like that. It's homework. This one. Obviously, obviously, quote me on that. But, it's okay. But like I say, our blood and our organs want to be at a pH level. Uh, sorry, an alkaline level. Uh, and for some reason, if you pH just a lot of people, urine, saliva, blood, organs, you'll see that a lot of people are, are in an acidic state. Pick out from your plethora of products here. <laughs> pick out the one that you couldn't live without and tell me about it. Uh, basically, it's obviously the water is key. That's the. Uh, that's a transport of, of all energies. So you put water in here? Yeah, yeah, you put water in that and that raises the uh, the pH of the water to uh, 9.5. Really? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really good piece and of you carry this around with you? Yeah, it's kind of like on the go. Wonderful. Uh, obviously, take, I take like my bladder rack. Uh, Sounds rude. Bladder rack. Bladder rack. The, uh, take the Irish moss, Condus, Condus Crispus. It's a very good, these are like seaweed products. And what do, how do you have these then in smoothies? Yeah, yeah, you can uh, you can you can mix them in smoothies or like say because obviously making a smoothie is a bit of a uh, bit of a hassle over there for, mm. for, for a lot of people. Like I says, like like say on the go, I sort of tend to take a take a teaspoon with water and just hardcore. just hardcore just, it. just just take it raw just uh, wow. just to get it in me. Yeah, and we've also got um, like say the same the same public uh, products in. Uh, tablet form. You know what Dean, it's been an absolute pleasure. Feeling very healthy now. You should see the smile on this boy's face. Thank you very much for having us. Pleasure. And from Gaff TV. Goodbye. Thank you.